Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Mosaic UEFA Euro Soccer. Two box random country break number 22, where you get two random countries for each spot that you get. The deuces are wild, as Vin Scully would used to say. Let's double your names up. There's all the teams right here. And let's roll it, let's randomize it. Six and a four, ten times for names and countries. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. After ten times, we got Brian down to Brian. Six and a four, ten times for the teams. Nine and tenth and final time. It is Brandon, but we have to give away some spots. If you look right next to that honors break, you'll see where we're giving away spots in a filler pack. So the break schedule will always keep track of that information. So always keep that in mind for um, for a lot of breaks. Brian with Germany, Scott with Italy, Carlos with Slovakia, Brian with Croatia, David with the Czech Republic, Brian with Hungary, Spain, England, Finland, and Poland. Scott with Ukraine, Brian with Wales, Belgium, Denmark, and France. Carlos with Russia, Brian with the Netherlands, Switzerland, Sweden, Scotland, Austria. David with North Macedonia, Brian with Turkey, and Portugal. All right, so let's alphabetize by country. We're going to pause the video really quick. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trade, and then we'll have the two-box break. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. No deals were done here in break 22. Another two boxes in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everyone, for watching and getting in. Let's keep going on the soccer. Overall, I thought the Euros, even though it was delayed by the entire year due to the pandemic, I thought the tournament was pretty great. A lot of exciting, well, it started with a very scary moment with Christian Eriksen. Um, but a lot of great matches. The knockout stages were a lot of fun. The final was a lot of fun. So, there was a lot, of, a lot of good times throughout the tournament. Italy winning was a big deal. And now we, and before you know, we have the World Cup to look forward to. So a lot of these players who are in their, uh, who are like quote unquote rookie cards here, hold on to these because these might be the next emerging tier of players, group of players that will be highlighted in the World Cup in about a year and a half. All right, you know, it's not a rookie card, but guys like Phil Foden. Youngsters that can emerge, here's Austria's Adrian uh, Grivich. Rookie red. And here's Slovakia's Rodak. Cristiano Ronaldo for Portugal, that's gonna be for Brian. And who has England? Brian, Brian Croft also has the three Lions. Yeah, that was Christian Eriksen. That was a scary moment there. We've got Ademi for North Macedonia. Silver. Rookie silver for... Big Boys 007 in the mosaic parallel of Cristiano Ronaldo. He won the uh, golden ball, or golden boot, that is. Top goal scorer in the Euros. Jaden Sancho, unfortunately missed a crucial penalty, but he's still young. Hopefully a big, big learning experience for, for England and the youngsters. 
He'll be in, he'll be in a Manchester United shirt. Transfer got done. And nice a nice uh, pink parallel of Bukayo Saka. Five out of 49 for the Arsenal youngster. This goes to England, Brian Croft. Phil Foden again. All cards ship, and for a lot of these players, I've said this pretty much every break, but a lot of these players worth saying again. A lot of these players worth looking up on the secondary market. There's not too many soccer releases, relatively speaking, so some of these may have uh, some higher value than you may think. And with the Olympics coming up, there may be an opportunity to see some of these youngsters in the Olympics, and that might that might also give them a little boost in value. And especially when they're when their domestic league competition, when their club teams start to play, it's always a good idea to look out for those guys too. There's Marcus Thurman for France. Silver, rookie silver. That'll be for Brian Croft in France. We have not seen the auto yet, I feel like. Jordan Pickford. Should be one per box. Oh, there it is. And the autograph is for Zarazuri. The Azuri. Paolo Maldini. Italy. Scott Blackwell. With the Euro 2020 winners. Congrats. Um, just want to. Paolo Maldini is an old school guy, I want to say, yeah. Old school central defender for AC Milan, and uh, and coach the nat. That's right, coach the national team from uh, from '88 to no played with the national team from like '88 to 2002. Yeah, so he was around for a while. What's he What's he doing these days? Is he coaching? Prior to his retirement, he expressed he would never be moving into a coaching career. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Doing some business stuff, though. Let's set this aside right here. There's Eden Hazard. And second box. Another two box in the store. Rex is asking if it was real when they used to play a game like basketball with human heads in the Greek Greek Colosseum days, in the Greco-Roman days. I don't know. I feel like I've heard something, a story like that, um, in maybe Mayan or Aztec culture, or some uh, some indigenous culture here in this hemisphere, where they would play with either an inflated animal bladder, or possibly heads. Where you would, uh, the, the sphere through sp cylinder concept, I think has been a pretty popular game for, for mankind. So that wouldn't surprise me if the head was also attempted. Next box, good luck. All right, 
There's Edzjan Alioski for North Macedonia. Tiago Alcantara here. Some more Bukayo Saka. Jeremy was saying earlier that it goes back to uh, Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel. That incident happened because of a, a dispute over soccer. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a dispute over a sporting event. I don't know how many fights that I've gone into with, with my cousins over both playing sporting event or watching a sporting event. Mostly playing sporting events. Here's one for Russia. That would be for Carlos. Karaveev. Rookie Mosaic. Now, Felix is supposed to be one of those rising stars for Portugal. It'll be for Brian Croft. And the next autograph is coming up. It is, hey, Nick Pope for the Three Lions. And that'll be for Brian Croft, who has England. What's Nick Pope doing these days? Nick Pope's with Burnley. I know, he's going to have to be one of the backup keepers for England. Pickford's the number one. All right, any... One parallels here at the end, yeah. We got some. We got another parallel for Russia, and looks like that's that, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, everybody, for getting in and making this happen. I appreciate it. We got another two-box break of Mosaic UEFA Euro Soccer on JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Check it out. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.